Hey there, Pyromaniacs. Modern first-person shooters suck. I think that's just a commonly accepted fact at this point. Maybe packing in hundreds of unnecessary mechanics, mind-numbing linearity, or the infamous loot box system, it's extremely easy to see the most popular video game genre is not what it once was. Luckily, there are the occasional good shooters to come around every once in a while, like Doom 2016 and the game I'm talking about today, which is probably one of the most bizarre indie games I've played in a long time. Without further ado, let's blaze into... Blood and Bacon. Although this looks like it was made in 1997, Blood and Bacon was released in February 1st, 2016 by the indie developers known as Big Corporation. No, really, that's their name. It's really hard to find anything about who Big Corporation is, or pretty much anything about them online, but according to their Steam account, they also go by Fat Corporation, Sad Corporation, Big Corporation, and Dummy. The plot of Blood and Bacon is quite simple. You're on a farm, the farmer has somehow been impaled with a pitchfork, don't ask how, and there are hordes of zombie pigs out to kill you both, so it's up to you and up to five other players to blow up some undead swine. This game is a horde-based shooter, similar to Nazi Zombies. You know, if Nazi Zombies was actually fun. Your objective is simple and straightforward. Kill the reanimated hogs before they kill you and survive until the next wave. Occasionally unlock new weapons to kill the dead stock even deader, and honestly, that's it. That's the whole game. 101 levels and all, and you're done. So why is this game so addictive and so great? Why not just play one of the hundreds of other horde modes and other shooters with higher budgets? Simple. Personality and polish. This game doesn't have much to offer, but what it does offer is immaculately fine-tuned to be fun, challenging, and addictive. Not only does this game look like a game out of the era of Serious Sam, Quake 3, and Unreal, it plays like it too. The game's mechanics keep to the classic kiss method, that being keep it simple, stupid. Or I guess in this case, it could also be killing incompetent stale shooters. There's no aiming down sights, the movement is quick and tight, the aiming is snappy and to the point, everything feels so old school and it works so well. The game also uses its unappealing graphics to its advantage as well by pushing everything to maximum absurdity. This may just be the bloodiest game ever made and I'm keeping Doom 2016 in mind as I say that. Just about every pig you shoot erupts in a geyser of blood and chunks. Big Corporation really made sure each possessed porker you shoot is just as satisfying as the last, and it really adds to the addictiveness of this game. The gameplay may look a little repetitive, but there's so much here, it's easy to forget about the repetition and just lose yourself in the madness. You know Righteous Slaughter, the fictional video game from GTA V that Michael DeSantis' son is obsessed with? This is pretty much what I imagine that to be like from what you see of it in the game. Juvenile excessively violent and mindless, but unbelievably addictive and a heck of a good time. This game is only a dollar, I've had more fun with this game than I've had with most $60 AAA titles from last year. I implore you, if you have just one stray dollar in your Steam account and like old arena-style shooters to support this developer and try this game out. Until next time, goodbye and stay nerdy, my friends.